Hello, and welcome to this challenge overview video brought to you by the Australian Centre for Robotic Vision. Today we are going to briefly summarise our scene understanding and robotic vision challenges. We present two robotic vision challenges within the scene understanding research space. These are a semantic slam challenge and a scene change detection challenge. In our semantic slam challenge, a robotic agent must explore a given environment and report the 3D location of all objects of interest found within, such as chairs, televisions, plants, etc. After exploration, the system must produce a semantic mapping of the objects found, reporting the location, extent, and class of each object, such as is shown at the bottom of your screen. Performance is ranked based on how well the produced map matches the ground truth semantic map, both spatially and semantically. In our scene change detection challenge, a robotic agent must traverse a given environment twice across two different moments of time and report the differences that can be observed between traversals. Between the two traversals, some objects will be removed, whilst other objects will be added. Performance is then ranked on how well these changes have been identified. You may notice that for both scenarios, the challenges will be given control of a robotic agent, which must explore the given environment. This is important, as agency is a critical component of robotic vision research. For most of our challenges, we achieve this robotic agency using NVIDIA's Isaac Simulator. This enables us to operate in high-fidelity simulated environments, attain some level of repeatability, and provide accurate ground truth annotations. However, for those that achieve high performance in the simulation, we have provided a platform that makes the same code used in simulation directly transferable to a real-world platform. This is all made possible using our Benchbot API, which sits atop the commonly used robotic operating system, ROS, to control the robot. Using a robotic platform that we give access to, simulated or otherwise, Benchbot API strips away the complexity of having to implement ROS and reduces operation down to a series of discrete actions. Behavior protocols are then built from these sets of discrete actions, such as moving forwards or rotating. After a given action is complete, the agent is provided with a set of observations such as color and depth images, laser data, and odometry information. As we have built our simulated benchbot by implementing ROS to control the robot within Isaac, we can implement benchbot API on either simulated robots or real ones with exactly the same control protocols. High performers in the simulated competition will be invited to test their code on real robots, enabling them to test both their effectiveness in the real world and examine the sim to real gap without any code modifications. And how hard will it be to get started with our simulations, running Isaac, ROS, and Benchbot, all working together so that you can implement your behaviors? Well, you should be able to install and then run with two simple scripts that we provide. It's that easy. To facilitate different levels of expertise on our scene understanding challenges, we provide three different difficulty tracks which strip away different levels of agency complexity. On the easiest track, we have passive mode, where navigation and exploration in each environment is done automatically with a simple move next command. The locations for each environment are consistent between runs, and ground truth robot pose is provided after each action. At the next level of difficulty, active control of the robot is given, and the robot can be instructed to move forwards or backwards a given distance, or to rotate by a given angle. At this level, ground truth robot pose is still given after each action. This enables perfect localization. However, unlike passive mode, the robot can take different parts on different runs in the same environment. The final track is the one most akin to a real robot, where you have active control of the robot's movements, and only have access to sensor outputs like LiDAR and odometry. While the robot may be commanded to move forward a meter, this is not guaranteed to be the case. Competitors must accommodate for errors in localization themselves, with no access to the ground truth. It is this mode where successful competitors will be able to directly transfer their code to our real robotic systems. So in summary, we have put forward two formalized robotic vision challenges in scene understanding, providing an easy-to-use framework within a simulation to enable rapid research and easy algorithm comparison. Within our two scene understanding challenges, 
we provide three levels of agent complexity, progressively becoming more akin to an actual robotic system. Finally, our new Benchbot API framework removes the complexity of ROS and enables easy sim to real transfer of scene understanding algorithms with an active agent. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this overview of our scene understanding robotic vision challenges. If any of what I have described interests you, I would encourage you to check out the following links for more information. Feel free to contact us via email or Twitter, and you can find out more information on this and future robotic vision challenges at our website. Thank you very much.